According to most studies, people's number one fear is public speaking. Number two is death. Death is number two. <laughs> now this means to the average person, if you have to go to a funeral, you're better off in the casket than doing the eulogy. I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I realized millions of people were watching me and it just kind of took my breath away. <sighs> we're all dying the death, spending all day on the toilet, or throwing up, or sweating, or fainting, or all, all of the above, and hopefully not at once and not in front of the audience. Tom Edison credits his mother's belief in him with... I don't know, I mean, you know, it's just where your brain stops functioning. Switching to Ball State men's tennis, it seems last week player on, it seems every week they have a player. You can see the awkwardness there. You can see the tension, you know, I'm, I'm almost sweating bullets during that thing because of all the tension. My name is Johnny Z. I'm Six months of contests and competitions. When you get to the big stage and there's 20, 100 people, bright lights, huge platform, two big screens on either side of you, and you get to give your message to the audience. And I learned that silence kills. There's nothing like that new foot smell. My heart literally stops. And the 2007 World Championship of Public Speaking goes to. Let's see, I could only pay half my rent at the beginning of the month, so we're getting evicted. And then there was the following competitions, two competitions that I just imagined as I was walking up the stage, kind of the same thing as walking up the ladder. I wanted to figure out what the mold was um, of a winning speech. This is ourselves under pressure. Well, my name is Kyle Laybear. And I'm a member of the Forgotten Voices Toastmaster here at Louisiana State Penitentiary in Angola. Rollicking, carefree, alive, yes! <laughs>